in a reality where Indian guys have it the hardest. The mass media has been pushing out negative stereotypes on mainstream TV, on social media for nearly decades now, and it's caused so much damage. Even other Indian guys are literally setting the race backwards for clout and money. And the truth of all of it is nobody cares. You need to understand that nobody is here to save you. Nobody's going to take all these stereotypes or you getting bullied seriously unless you do. If someone's going to say, oh, bro, you need to wear deodorant just because you're Indian. Why do you keep letting that shit slide? Don't play into the joke and be like, oh, my bad, I'm Indian. Fuck that shit, bro. And the thing is, I understand your pain. Growing up, I let everybody walk all over me. Everybody disrespecting me. And the truth is, that was all my fault. I would just keep playing into these jokes and all these black stereotypes. And I kept putting myself in these situations where I'm just obviously going to lose. And for what? All I wanted was to just fit in. And that was the problem. When we seek social validation from other people, especially white people, if you live in a first world country, you may think, oh yeah, I have to play into this little stereotype so people can like me. But at the end of the day, you should be deciding who you want to be, not them. Like, bro, who the fuck are these guys that you're trying to impress every single day? They don't care. They just want something to laugh at and you're serving them every single time. It's time to say, fuck this, bro. Go to your mirror right now. Look yourself in the eyes and say, fuck this. It's time to embrace who you are and be fucking proud. No more trying to just please everyone, not make anyone upset. No more trying to fit into this little stereotype. And the thing is, when you stop doing this, there will be some resistance. You will feel uncomfortable. You were so used to being that Indian kid. But you need to understand that you have a name and it's only up to you to bring honor and respect to that name. But not only for yourself, for your family, your mom and dad. You also may have younger siblings. So whatever you do, you are teaching them. So if you want to let all this disrespect slide, you want to keep playing into the stereotype, you want to fit in, you want to seek validation from other people. That is exactly what you're teaching your younger siblings. And it's going to get passed on from generation to generation. When will it stop? Your family is just going to suffer. You have to be the change. And that uncomfortable feeling, it will never go away, bro. You just have to stand up for yourself anyways. Your bullies, they're going to test you. Everyone will try to disrespect you more and try to put you in your place. And it's up to you to show them that they can't fuck with you no more. No matter what you have to do. If you have to punch someone in the face, fucking do it. And I get a lot of comments on my YouTube videos of people saying, oh, well, I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get suspended. And that's fine. But I just want you to answer this question real quick. Will you feel better about yourself if you keep letting this disrespect slide? You keep letting it worse and worse and you just move on with your life and you try to forget about it and you don't get in trouble? Or what about you put your fucking foot down? You do whatever you have to do to make this shit stop. You end up getting in trouble. How will you feel about your yourself when you're about to go to sleep at night and you're reflecting about your life you're gonna be happy about yourself because you know deep down you're a man just answer that question and you can say oh that's ego oh it's not that deep it is that deep whenever your son comes to you crying and he says dad these guys are bullying me at school they're calling me all these names they're touching me they're doing all this stuff what do i do what the fuck are you gonna tell him oh oh just ignore them son that is not how it works bro you know this shit when you finally say enough is enough you are not just standing up for yourself but you are standing up for your family, your future, and everything else related to you. So don't let these stupid stereotypes define who you are. That is all I wanted to say. It's going to be hard, but at the end of the day, it's worth it. I love you, bro. And you can fucking do this shit. And listen up real quick. If you personally are struggling with self-improvement, you just haven't been making any progress, you still watch porn, girls don't even acknowledge your presence, you get bullied, you have no confidence, everything is going downhill for you. Go to godcolton.net. I will speedrun your self-improvement. Like, comment, subscribe. I respond to every single comment. So if you have a certain situation, I will respond to that shit. So without further ado, we out.